In this video, we'll talk about setting up your command manager. By default, SOLIDWORKS Command Manager already has a Surfaces tab, and most of the surfacing tools that you'll ever need to use are already located here, but there are a few that's missing, so let's go ahead and add those now. To do this, I'm gonna right click, go all the way to the bottom, and we're gonna select Customize. We're gonna go over to our Command section, we're gonna go down to Surfaces, and we're gonna grab the three surfacing tools that are left off of the Surfacing tab. The first is Radiate. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that up right next to Curves. The next one is Mid-Surface. And the last one is Parting Surface. Now these tools can be found in several other locations, such as going to Insert and down to our Surfacing Tools. So you can find Mid-Surface, Radiate, and Parting Surface there. You can also right-click and you can turn on your Surfacing Toolbar. This can be dragged and dropped any location. You can even take it onto a second monitor. We can also customize the S key or the quick key with any surfacing tools that we may want to use. Throughout this video, we're also going to be talking about sketching and evaluating our surfaces. On the sketch tab, everything we need to know is already here. We have our spline tools, we have our conic and parabola tools, we have our standard arcs and fillets and things like that. On the Evaluate tab, we're going to take a close look at our surfaces. So we're going to be using tools such as the zebra stripes and the curvature to take a look at how the surfaces are curved in our 3D space.